Hey guys, welcome back to Vehicle View. Uh, today we're kind of in a new location because we're gonna be starting a new series on how we do what we do. We get asked a lot of questions, um, you know, on our videos, through social media, you know, et cetera. Uh, you know, about how we take this photo, how we take this video, what techniques do we use, you know. And I decided that it'd be kind of a good opportunity for us to use Vehicle View as a platform to not only show you automotive content, but show you how we make it. Since we are really about making pieces of art, making nice video, taking nice photos, uh, and things along those lines. So uh, let's get started with our first tip for how you can improve your automotive photography. All right guys, so the first tip we're gonna be focusing on today in this video is gonna be removing the blues. Uh, this is a photo of obviously a Bugatti Veyron. This was taken by Trevor, who is another member of Vehicle View. Uh, info is down below as usual. Um, and what we're gonna be looking at, like I said, is how to take these blues out of the reflections. Because when we see a car parked up, obviously there's a sky above it. This car happens to be silver chrome, which reflects about everything you see. You can see some buildings in reflection, but we're not worried about that today. We're worried about this blue color. Uh, first way kind of attack this is to mess with the white balance temperature. Um, and we can slide this over to yellow. Yellow is the opposite of blue. But look, we can sort of see that blue go away. But as we get the blue to go away, everything else turns yellow. Let's go back to how we had the photo before. Um, now, unless you're dealing with a blue car, this in Lightroom is actually pretty simple. So we can scroll down here to this color panel and we can look at the color blue here. If this isn't popping up for you, click on this color tab right here and then click blue. Um, and we have some other settings in here, but we're only worried about saturation right now. So what we're going to do is just take this saturation down and bam, look, now we kind of, we're getting that true chrome, uh, silver and we can kind of mess with it until we see something natural. This guy's always can reflect of a cars, but we all know looking at it in person, what it looked like. So you can kind of adjust this blue to realism all the way. is going to be a little bit too much. Very obvious to see that you've removed a color from the photo. So you don't want to go too crazy on the blue removal in Lightroom. When you start to remove this, this is removing blue from the entire image. This isn't gonna work for photos that don't only have blue in the car, they have blue in other areas. So I'm gonna show you the second method of doing this, which is going into Photoshop. So in Lightroom, it's pretty simple. Right click on the photo, and we're gonna to go to Edit in Adobe Photoshop. All right, so now we got the photo in Photoshop, and let's get to work. So in Photoshop, what's so great is you have something called the Layer Mask tool. Let's say we had some blue in here we didn't want to take away. We got some blue in the sky we don't want to take away. What we can actually do is get in here with this hue and saturation panel. And you know, we go, it's a very similar process to Lightroom. You go into the blues and you remove them by saturation. Now, okay, great. We just did the exact same thing we did in Lightroom. But this gives you something right here called a layer mask. If you don't know how layer masks work, you can use the black and white brushes that we see over here on the left side to paint in where we want the effect to take place. So let's say, like I said, we got some blue, we want these buildings in the background to remain blue, okay? We have black selected on the left side and we can actually just go in here and brush in the blue like that, okay? Let's say we got some blue that we wanted to be on the car and just go brush it in right here. But you see that none of this area is being impacted because we're using a brush. So if we were to start with this photo, Let's say we color the entire image black. So what we're gonna do, um, you can use option and scroll to zoom in. And we're gonna adjust our brush size here. And we're basically gonna get in here and start painting out where we want the blue to leave. Now you kind of basically have full control over what you're doing here, over where the blue is being removed. And let's say, yeah, you see this windshield? It actually looks okay. That's a pretty natural tint. That's kind of what it will end up looking like. But this one, is almost looks like it's wrapped blue. So we're gonna go in and just brush this out. And as we can see, you have so much more control. And as usual with most effects in Lightroom and Photoshop, Photoshop gives you control, Lightroom gives you the ease of, of use and access. Now, great, but you know what? I'm looking at this front windshield and I'm saying, okay, this one is now a little too desaturated. So what we can go in here is this little circular object. We click it, we go back to our blue panel and now we can actually readjust and say, you know what? Let's put a little bit more back in or take a little bit away. I kind of think this is natural. This is kind of where it looks. But now I say, you know what? Now we'll select the layer mask again. Now I want the ground to actually be, uh, I want the blues to be removed from the ground. So now I get my white brush because white will apply the effect and just brush that away. So you can see that the subtle impact on the ground here 
it's, it, it's kind of taking the photo from kind of almost, you know, just a, you know, batch edit kind of look to now kind of the professional refined. We've actually gone in and really touched up our color. So if we go to the eyeball here and turn off the layer, we kind of see we just removed that little bit of blue tint. We go to this wheel arch is where we're gonna see the biggest difference here. Disable, enable, right? And as I'm showing you right now, you're gonna kind of see some before and after photos. People are just gonna notice a general upgrade in your photography. They may not know what it is, but it really is going to change how you think about color. I started being more meticulous about every color. I started looking at all the options because I knew that with any of the colors, you saw those panels, I could take yellow, red, blue, you know, all, all of the, the whole spectrum and modify each one to exactly how it's supposed to be. Using these techniques, you can do that very easily. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, you know, leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment um, about what you want to see. I know a pretty good bit about photography, so if you have any quick questions, I'm willing to answer them, and if we get enough of them, I'll make a video about it. All right, see you in the next one.